When you're diagnosed with cancer, you tend, I think you go through a number of questions. You ask yourself a series of questions. The first question is likely to be, what about my job, and my mortgage, and my credit card, and my debts, and my bills, and my car, and my kids' education, and my legacy, and my life's work? That's the first question you start to ask yourself, but that passes. You sort of get over that after a few days. The second question you ask yourself is, what about my family, my kids, my friends, my social circle? Will those people betray me, leave me behind, not want to talk to me? Especially when you think about your wife and your loved ones. But those are the kind of thoughts that go through your mind. But don't worry, they pass. The third thing that goes through your mind is that given the fact you're, not go you're more than likely not going to be able to eat properly or speak properly, what are the consequences of that going to be for you and for the people? In particular on speaking, I'm 56 years old, I think. Not yet got grandchildren. <coughs> and the thing that went through my mind, question three was, will my grandchildren ever hear granddad's little voice? But you get over that. Then you get to question four. And question four is that difficult one is, I sat outside the church on the wall, and I asked that chap upstairs and said, am I going to survive? Is this thing going to go further than my mouth and my tongue? And get deeper inside me and cause more and more damage? <clears throat> so those are the four questions people like me tend to ask themselves. It's roughly probably in that sequence. The fifth question I'm now left with, I ask this question every night when I go to bed, especially when I brush my teeth, and every morning when I wake up, and probably several times during the day, is it going to come back? <coughs> Has it actually gone away forever? I'm reporting now I've been given a completely clean bill of health. I'm living my life on that premise now, but that little nagging irritation is still there. 